Hello there, everyone. My name is Nathan Birch. Today, we're going to do uh, our first hands-on exercise of the course, and that is getting practice creating modules. Uh, so here's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> create an HTML file to run in the browser that links to a JS file. Create a JS file for the HTML file, um, and then create a second JS file that is a module that will be referenced in the first file. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Um, so I just opened up a new window here. As you can see, I have my JavaScript 2 repository right here. And I just made a folder called class 1. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and make a new HTML file in here. And I'll just call this uh, app.html. OK, I can close that. Um, I'll use my shortcut to generate an HTML file. Thank you, Emmett. Um, and let's see. So let's go ahead and just make a simple application. Uh, I'm going to uh, do one that will uh, allow us to get the area of a circle. And we can maybe build on this in a little bit. So I'll just say circle calculator. And then uh, I'll just have uh, a span, which is like a paragraph without the line break that says, please enter the radius of a circle. And then an input, which will show up right next to it. Um, and this input for us to get the value from it, I'm just going to put an ID in here of radius. And then we'll have a button to submit it. I do want this button on a new line, so we'll make a line break. And then we'll have an on click that says uh, submit function for now. Okay, and we'll say calculate. All right, so let's run this. Uh, let's see here with our live server. OK, so circle calculator, enter the radius of a circle. I could put 5 and calculate, obviously, won't do anything. OK, if I open up my developer tools, it'll say um, submit function is not defined. OK, so let's go ahead and make a JavaScript file. I'll say new file, app.js. And then in here, I'll say function, uh, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. Um, submit function, that's creative. So I'll copy that, paste it here. And actually, I'm going to split this so that I can see both of these at the same time. So function, submit function. And uh, let's see. We need to get our radius first. So I'll say let r equals uh, document dot get element by ID. And then we have a radius dot value. OK. Now we do need to, oh, not node value, just value. Uh, we do need to do math with this, so I'm going to say parse float to convert it to a number. And that should give us our radius. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and output this to the page. So I'll say div, I'll give it an ID of output. And then I'll just say document dot get element by ID, output dot inner HTML equals r times r times math.py. OK. So let's see if this works. Uh, come back over here, say 5, and calculate. Submit function is not defined. We forgot to link it. So let's come over here. And we'll say script with the source of app.js. OK. Let's try that one more time. Third time's the charm. There we go. We have our circumference. Um, and so there's a couple of things that we'd want to change here. But the main thing is we are not using any modules right now. OK, so what we want to do is be able to have all of our logic for our circle somewhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new file in here. And we'll just call it circle calculator.js. OK. And inside of circlecalculator.js, I'll just make a function that says uh, calculate circumference. We'll still need a radius in there. Um, and then we'll just return math.py times r times r, pi r squared. OK? Now, if I want to use this in another JavaScript file, I would have to do one of two things which basically do the same thing. I could say export and then calculate circumference. OK, that would do it. This would allow me to access this calculate circumference in another file. I could make this a comma delimited list if I had another function in here. OK, 
Okay. Um, or another way that I could do it, I could take that out and then just right here, I'll just say export. Okay. Which would make it so calculate circumference is accessible. Okay. Now let's head back over to app.js and inside of submit function, let's actually do something else. So um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'll say, uh, let circumference conference equal and then we'll say calculate circumference and we'll pass in R. Okay. Now, um, notice a couple. Wow, look at that. It automatically imported that. That's beautiful. I don't have to do that. Um, okay, so this is really important for me to access the calculate circumference function from another file. Uh, I have to import it. And so I'd say from and then I have the name of the file. And this dot slash here just means that it's a relative path. This means that calculate calculator or circle calculator is in the same folder as app.js. Okay. And then I have that function. But now look at this, this got grayed out, which means it's not being called. Okay. Um, so if I try to run this right now, this should work because calculate circumference is right here. Uh, submit function gets called from this button. And then the last thing that we'll need is I'll just paste what I had there. Uh, but then I'll just take this off. Uh, we'll use our back ticks, we'll say the circumference, circumference is uh, circumference, that variable, okay? So those back ticks allow us to stick that variable into that string without doing all the pluses and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna hit five and I'll calculate and look at my look at my errors in here. The first one showed up when I loaded the page, it says cannot use import statement outside of a module. Um, and so if we look at this, this is where I'm using the import statement. Okay. And the code looks fine in here, but it says I can't use that import statement outside of a module. So I have to figure out a way to make this app.js file a module, even though the submit function was working just fine. And then our other error, submit function is not defined. Um, even though it clearly was just a minute ago when we ran it um, before we had this. Um, interesting thing here, if I comment this out, look, this is no longer grayed out. Um, and we would be able to successfully run this. Uh, notice our error isn't here anymore about the module. And now we get an error, calculate circumference is not defined. Okay, if we look here, that means submit function ran, we got the radius, and then it couldn't find calculate circumference, which makes sense. So to be able to fix this, all right, we need to somehow make uh, app.js a module, okay? And the way that we do that is right here in our script tag. When we import it, or when we include it in our script source, in our HTML, we'll just say type is a module. And that's all it takes. Okay. Now, this didn't just like happily make everything work. That's still grayed out. Let's see what happens if we run this again. Um, hit refresh. That's an interesting error. App.js calculator error aborted 404. Let's see what happens if I push this button. Still, submit function is not defined. So what we're going to have to do, anytime you use a module, a new scope will be created, okay? Which means I can't just say on click to call any function, okay? But a module will be in its own scope. So the way that I get around that is I'll just put an ID in here of submit button. I could put anything I want, and then I'll take this off. And then we'll go ahead and trigger that uh, on click in a different place. Uh, and so we'll do that still from uh, here, but instead I'll just add a line of code that says document dot, um, and I could say get element by ID, um, or I could use a query selector, it doesn't matter, but I'll say submit button. And then, so now it's like watching that button and I'll just say on click. So if that button gets clicked, then we'll go ahead and call our submit function. Okay, all right, so that'll get us past our issues of scope. And this will basically set us up so that we can use anything, anything in, in multiple modules. So everything's saved. Let's come back over here and uh, let's put a five in there, hit calculate, and we still have an error. Uh, so 404 app.js one calculator is not found. Circle calculator is not found. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So that's this line of code right here. We're including app.js in here, and then we're importing circle circumference from our circle calculator. So that should all be working fine. I'm going to stop our live server, 
And let's open with live server and let's see if that helps. Okay, type in five again, calculate, we'll probably have that same error. Okay, uh, the server response or responded with a status of 404 not found uh, for the circle calculator file. Okay, interesting. Hmm, so that's right there. I can probably double click on this and cannot get. So it couldn't find that. Interesting. So let's try one other thing. And I'm just going to hit, I'm going to right click on this and I'll say copy path. And I'll paste that. And let's try it in here. So this isn't running from my live server. Um, it's just running from, yeah, and we still have that same error. Oh no, it's a different error. Access to script at from origin null has been blocked by cores. So I'm thinking I probably just have a typo somewhere. Let's go ahead and look at that, um, the auto imported statement. Uh, so right here, import calculate circumference from circle calculator dot js. That's totally it. Okay. Um, there are some frameworks that allow you to do that and it knows that it's looking for a JS file. Um, but just vanilla JavaScript is not one of them. So, all right, let's give this a shot. Er errors are gone. That's a good sign. We'll hit calculate and the circumference is 79 ish. Okay. So, uh, that worked. Okay. Cause if we look at where this is being called, uh, app.js, uh, that ran when I clicked the button, then we called the submit function. We parsed it. We got R, we called the calculate circumference function, which is being imported from here. Okay. And returning that math.py times R times R. Okay. Um, so yeah, so just to walk through everything again, what I had to change from our first file was this had to become a module. This button needed an ID. Well, I guess it wouldn't need one, but it makes it easier. It needs an ID instead of the on click attribute in app.js. We add the on click here in JavaScript instead of HTML. And we need to import uh, the function that we want from circle calculator. And then we can call it as if it were in this file. And then circle calculator, we have to export that function to make it accessible in other functions or in other, in other files.